everyone, it's Amanda from I Sew A Lot and um, Happy New Year everyone, it's the 1st of January 2018 and I am back. Um, my uh, subscribers and my viewers will know that I have taken a bit of a break unfortunately, I don't think I've posted a video since October but to be 100% honest everything has been a little bit too much I've had quite a lot on my plate obviously as you know I have a young family I work full time I've recently started sewing classes and Christmas has been looming and everything was just a little bit too much so unfortunately my priorities do not lie with vlogging so apologies to everybody there but they don't so um, that's had to take a bit of a back seat obviously it also interferes with my sewing time um, but yes so I'm back today with a different kind of video um, and it's all in relation to a new challenge that is being hosted by Hattie Sews, um, Athena Kakao and also Lisa Kish and I'll put their um, Instagram handles here and any information or anything that you um, require to do with the challenge that I'm going to talk about I'm going to link everything down below so you can hop over to Athena's blog, you can hop over to um, Hattie's channel and everything like that where they've spoken about it, they've given the instructions for the challenge and the rules and everything else so you can hop over to any of those places and find out everything you need plus there's quite a lot um, of posts on Instagram which also clarify everything so anyway the challenge is SMILEY2018 um, which stands for Sewing Makes You Love Yourself and um, I was approached by um, the ladies um, to be an ambassador for the challenge um, and they were very kind um, in their comments that I represent um, something that they feel is appropriate to this challenge um, which is body positivity and that um, I was quite touching for me because it's something that's quite close to my heart um, I think this challenge um, mainly is to deal with body positivity but also mental health um, I watched um, Hattie's uh, launch video this morning and again I was really touched by um, what sewing meant to her and how she has struggled in the past with mental health. Um, I don't really have um, much to say about the mental health side of it because I am extremely lucky in that I, to date, um, have never really struggled with mental health issues. Um, I have always been someone who just approaches things in a way of, well, I will get through it. I have had really hard times in my life, I've suffered profound loss, I've had, you know, everybody has their own issues that they've had to deal with, um, but I think it just is in your makeup as to how you can effectively deal with those challenges. And I don't think, I think unless you have experienced mental health in your life I don't really think that you can fully appreciate or understand it so I'm not going to really comment on that but what I do have um, strong feelings about are body positivity um, as you know if you follow me or um, subscribe to my channel everything about me <coughs> excuse me is uh, quite rudimentary I don't have studio lights I don't edit my photos I don't post pictures of me um, in full face makeup um, because that's not me that's not real life and real life is you know getting out of bed with your hair looking like a bird's nest and you know I don't want to um, portray an image that isn't realistic and you know my grid is as you probably know photos of me in my dirty mirror with my camera, my phone. Um, all my videos are filmed on my phone. I think it's important to portray to people a real life image. And that is a real life image of me. And um, like I said, this, um, this challenge has been quite um, thought provoking for me because I wanted to try and establish how sewing actually made me feel and what it had changed in me and had, um, you know, made better in me, sorry, like I said I'm getting over a cold so it keeps catching me, I want to cough, <coughs> excuse me, um, and originally I had decided that I was going to make a dress for the challenge because the challenge obviously runs from 
1st of January to 28th of February and involves making a dress um, because there are quite a lot of sponsors of something that makes you feel beautiful. Um, and I originally was going to make a dress. I decided that I really love the Sew Over It Penny dress. It's a dress that makes me feel really pretty and really lovely and I really love it. And then yesterday um, I made this dress. And so um, I made this dress. Um, it was from a metre of fabric, cost me £5.99. Um, it took me probably an hour from cutting out to uh, finishing. And I put it on and I thought, you know what? That looks how I pictured it in my mind. And then my husband grabbed me and he said that I looked really lovely and he really liked the dress. And, and um, it made me realise that I don't really care what other people think about how I look. I don't care. Um, I do care um, what he thinks of, you know, his perception of me. I obviously want him to find me attractive. I want him to still feel the same as he did 20 years ago. And for me, um, that is the important thing. And I think sewing, um, there is no greater compliment for me than making something putting it on and for him to say that I look nice or that he loves me and you know that he finds me attractive and I don't really care what other people think about me I don't really care what other people think I look like and I think that is something that has come from sewing because um, I don't really have quite a you know a lot of self-worth I guess I don't really have you know an image of myself like he may say to me oh you look really sexy and I think like seriously I could not be further from that and some of the comments I get on Instagram about you know my posts and what I look like and you know it is bizarre to me alien to me because I don't view myself that way I view myself as a really geeky um, disorganized um, plain plain Jane kind of person and that that is what what I am um, but to make something that actually can change your perception of how you feel about yourself in a moment um, I just think that that is amazing and I'm kind of going off on a tangent but um, I um, have always struggled with uh, body image um, I've been a lot heavier than I am now and I have to admit when I was heavier uh, I wasn't very happy with how I looked but at that time in my life I didn't have sewing and I think had I had the opportunity to make clothes that fitted me and that were beautiful I probably wouldn't have struggled with how I looked um, as much as I actually did and um, because you know I've never been one to enjoy shopping nothing ever looks on you how you picture it to be when it's, you first see it on the hanger I hate going shopping because nothing ever fits I mean who is that standard size I don't know, even know who that person is um, who those shops are catering for you know I have a small top bigger hips long legs no boobs skinny arms you know all these things but the next person may have tiny hips and a bigger waist and bigger boobs and I just I just don't see how that kind of fashion and wearing ready to wear clothes can ever make you feel the same as wearing something that you've made that actually fits you um, so for me sewing has really given me more of a um, positive body image because one I don't really care what other people think about how I look because I know that I'm wearing something that I made and I love it obviously otherwise I wouldn't have made it so um, yeah I mean I am all for body positivity and I, you know I think nobody really knows a backstory of why you are the size you are or you know I have a lot of people comment on the fact that I am slight and you know from a outsider it's easy for people to say to me oh you're lucky you're lucky you're really small or you know you shouldn't moan about your body and stuff like that but <coughs> they don't know 
And the people who comment don't know, you know, I, I have been smaller, I have been bigger, I have been unwell, I have been healthy and I, I just think it's very easy for people to comment and they don't really know the backstory. And the way things are in, in this day and age, you know, um, we're constantly, you know, told how we should look, not just women, men as well. You know, this is the perfect lifestyle, this is the perfect body, this is the perfect skin, this is the perfect hair, but um, it's not real. <laughs> it's not real. You know, people have bad hair days, people get spots, <laughs> people eat too much at Christmas or get poorly and lose weight. And, uh, you know, I, I openly admit uh, where I've been poorly in the past and I lost a lot of weight, I didn't find myself attractive at all and I look at past videos and photos of myself where I was in a bad way where I wasn't very well and it makes me uncomfortable um, and yet I had people commenting on how good I looked and how you know I was lucky because I was small but inside I was just not I wasn't very well and I wasn't very happy and and I just think you know everybody else's input doesn't matter it really doesn't matter and I think you just need to be happy with the way that you are regardless you know if you want to change it if you want to be bigger if you want to be smaller then you know that's down to you to take the steps that you need to um, achieve your own personal goals but it it's nothing to do with anyone else and there certainly shouldn't be any you know making people feel less than they are through you know off the cuff comments and you know I, I uh, recently there, there's a lady on Instagram and um, I can't remember what she's called but I'll put her handle here and she's a 50 year old lady and she decided to um, get fit and um, she lost quite a lot of weight toned up and in achieving her goal um, I think it was something like a uh, a fitness magazine or a fitness website posted her story on their website and no on their Instagram page that was it and the comments were obscene there were so many people body shaming her mostly I have to admit when I was reading through mostly were younger people and I just couldn't believe that people could be that um, mean. I just couldn't believe it. She was so proud of the fact that she'd lost weight and she'd got fit and she'd made this choice in her life that she was going to be healthy and everybody was body shaming her and saying that she looked old and that she looked awful and what was the point and, and I just think, really, seriously? But, it's crazy to me how we have come to this stage where it's okay to um, shame people and to make them feel less than they are. It's alien to me and I just don't understand it. But I'm all for um, feeling positive about the way that you look and using sewing to make you feel better because ready to wear clothes, let's be honest, are not going to make you feel better about yourself with their wonky hems and their weird sizing and their just not flattering lines at all. So I think this is a really, really great challenge. And the dress that I made, I'm going to show you, I'll, I'll insert a picture, but it is a named, um, named clothing Paola which I've hacked into a dress. It isn't hemmed, actually, I still need to do that. Um, but yeah, I just lengthened it and you know took into account my hips. But um, yeah, I think this is a really, really great challenge. And I'm looking forward to seeing everyone's makes that make them feel lovely. And uh, it's such a great challenge. So like I said, I'm gonna put all the um, information down below so that you can go and check out you know, in a more coherent way, um, what this challenge is all about. Um, and I know that there is a lot, there appears to me to be quite a few 
stories on Instagram about people who have suffered with their mental health and sewing has really helped them and I think that is an amazing thing you know to be in a really dark place and to find something that can actually help bring you out of that I think that is amazing and yes so I have about I don't know six or seven videos to catch up on uh, I know I'm really behind so um, yeah hopefully this year I'm gonna get back on track and you're gonna see more of me so uh, thanks for watching and join in the challenge because it's really great and I'll see you soon. Bye.